those who are both vaccinated and boosted. And we believe these cases are milder or asymptomatic because of vaccine protection. This messenger RNA vaccines we've been using for less than a year. If it's in the United States, mm -hmm. apart from uh, uh, people over 16 years of age, it's authorized, meaning it's still classified as an experimental vaccine. So, so that these ICU beds and these uh, hospital uh, beds are free to take care of non-COVID patients and those COVID patients who, for whatever reason, did not respond to the vaccine uh, and got severe disease. SBS Washington FDA 고도의 독립성을 보장받기 때문에 바이든 대통령이 부스터 접종을 전체 성인에게 확대하겠다 이렇게 먼저 발표했는데 FDA 자문위원들이 이거를 부결시켜 버린 적도 있습니다. 베일러 의대 하나 엘살리 교수, 터프츠 의대 코디 마이스너 교수와 직접 진행한 인터뷰를 통해 코로나 백신에 대한 의문점을 완전 분석해 보겠습니다. In Korea, there are concerns that the vaccine is not safe for teenagers and children. Is it safe for them to get vaccinated? We've had experience since the late spring. After millions of doses being administered in the community to these teenagers, mm -hmm. uh, the safety records of the mRNA vaccines remains quite high. I think so. And I think we've given it to enough adolescents now so that we know it is pretty safe. 그렇다고 해서 부작용이 전혀 없는 건 아닙니다. 아주 드물기는 하지만 30대 이하 남성에게 심장에 염증을 일으키는 질병인 심근염 가능성이 존재하는 것도 사실입니다. So the side effects of vaccinations happen in the first six weeks of the injection, and so far. It is looking safe. Pediatricians often say that um, the myocarditis is pretty mild following the vaccine and uh, adolescents are discharged after two or three days. And we don't know what the long-term complications of that type of myocarditis. The cardiologist will tell them to avoid exercise for three to six months. That's a big deal to a teenager. 청소년들은 코로나에 걸려도 증세가 없는 경우도 많은데 그래도 왜 백신을 맞아야 할까요? Small percentage when multiplied by millions of young persons translates into a lot of disease. The safety of the vaccine versus the probability of severe disease of COVID, it is highly in favor of receiving uh, the vaccines. Because um, this is a disease that gets worse. I think we all want to make sure that, that any adverse event from the vaccine, even though it's very rare, is less common than the risk of getting infected. 한국은 백신 접종을 많이 했는데 코로나 상황이 이렇게 심각해진 이유는 뭘까요? After infection or vaccination, we are protected against severe disease, mm -hmm. but we may not be as protected against all infections. The goal of attaining zero infection, I'm not sure that the virus is teaching us otherwise. Mm -hmm. So controlling the consequences of COVID to protect people and is, is sort of what the goal is right now. Initially, we had hoped that, that these vaccines were so remarkable that they would 
prevent people from even getting infected. Anyone who's vaccinated should understand that he or she can get infected. They almost certainly will not develop any symptoms. Pfizer CEO also mentioned the possibility of a forced vaccination. Do we have to keep getting vaccinated? The two doses of mRNA seem to be continue to provide protection against severe disease. Whether we universal boosters mm -hmm. is the way to go uh, remains to be seen. It cannot be decided just based on antibody data. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to see uh, community data, especially uh, epidemiology data from various countries. I just will emphasize that was not a recommendation from the CDC or the FDA. <laughs> if everyone gets a booster, they are very happy. If everyone uh, then gets a fourth dose, they're mm -hmm. even happier. I don't think Pfizer or Moderna or Johnson & Johnson should be in the position of making recommendations about this vaccine because they have a serious conflict of interest. 코로나 백신이 매우 안전하다는 것에 큰 반론을 제기하기는 어렵습니다. 미국에서는 이미 청소년 수백만 명에게도 접종을 한 상태인데 심각한 문제가 있었다면 벌써 접종 중단 논의가 진행됐을 겁니다. 저도 초등학생 작은 아이와 중학생 큰 아이 모두 코로나 백신 접종을 마쳤더니 학교를 보내거나 밖에 같이 나갈 때 심리적으로 편안해지는 느낌이 있었습니다. 하지만 극히 드문 부작용도 그 부작용은 실제로 존재한다는 걸 부인할 수 없습니다. 그렇기 때문에 부모들이 정서적으로 충분히 안정감을 느낄 수 있도록 왜 백신을 접종해야 이득인지 진지하고 아주 치밀하게 설득할 필요가 있구나 하는 생각을 다시 한번 했습니다. 앞으로 코로나 바이러스는 변이를 거듭하면서 전 세계 사람들을 공포에 몰아넣을 가능성이 매우 큽니다. 인류가 코로나와 대응하는데 이 코로나 백신은 앞으로도 가장 큰 무기가 될 것이 분명합니다. 사람의 생명을 살리는 코로나 백신의 효용과 위험 사이 그 최적의 균형점은 어디일까요? 김수영의 워싱턴 인사이트는 여기까지입니다.